right, in these games, we're going to put out some CCADs and get a little practice in with black. Sometimes you just want to see certain lines or try to guarantee that you get the forces of darkness. So let's see if we can't get a game without too much delay here. And I decided to, to test the waters to see if the rating pool had changed too much and got a brand new peak rating on the training OP account of 2532. So pretty pleased with that. All right, let's create a wider net for our CCAD and see if we can't get somebody a little bit faster. And while we're waiting, let's take a look at this game in progress between two GMs. And I'm starting to feel better about my rating when I'm seeing that a GM is 25.55. And I'm guessing that's three minutes they're playing. Looks like they've got a French. A French that I appreciate for black. Really? No games? All right. Oh, just when I was about to give up on the video. All right, let's do an Alicon. And I've been playing the C-Tex D-Sticks stuff for a while. As we get a four pawns and... That's new. Okay. And without too much thought, I just want to get a standard setup and then start looking for knight b4. Okay, let's watch the g5 and h4 squares. No knight h4, none of that nonsense. Okay, and let me put the question to the structure a bit. Bishop b2 is met by knight e3. All right, if you're going to give me that square for the piece so I can put more pressure on the center, I'll take it. I'm going to self-pin because there's, oh, should I? I say there's no consequences for it, but all right, I'm, I'm going to play it safe. Queen c7, and then I'm still deciding which rook. I'm okay with this. Mm-hmm. Let's go here to see if we can't shake things up a bit. And if I go after your knight, I lose a piece for no reason. That was ridiculous from a game that I have no business being anything but better the entire time here after the weird c5 move. Yeah, but my opponent immediately gives it back. And I like this one better. Makes him waste a little bit more time, yeah?
I'm worried about the outside passer, but I want him to worry about that. Uh-huh. It's going to be hard for him to hold everything. Wee bit of speed here. Uh huh. Now we've got options D5 or F4. And we'll go there, making it really hard to hold. Under. Yeah, so even though I blundered, I'm still relatively satisfied that I was able to outplay my opponent um, with the overall game. As we get a four pawns attack, and then he plays a move that definitely is not my Alakine course. Uh, I haven't even considered this position. Potentially because it's just bad. Uh, let's see. B6. Play directly against the extended pawn structure. I don't know. Uh, I think the the engine doesn't have enough depth here. E6 just seems ridiculous though to lock in the bishop, but it's going back to B6 and potentially a bishop B7 or idea in the future. It seemed very natural to look for knight B4 ideas, and maybe I waited a bit too long. I want to secure that knight on A3. Then go with bishop e7, knight c6, queen d7, rook d8. Yeah, knight b4. I, I was thinking too solid and missed the opportunity here to get more. c6. And after bishop d3, white's got his first move advantage. Uh-huh. And b6. I just kept missing the proper pawn breaks here. And definitely 100% knight. knight takes d4. I was just absolutely oblivious to the fact that there's a pin and nothing much can be done here, for instance. Wow. Yeah, shows that I still suck at tactics. That's not very comforting, even though I've been actively working on it. And here, that was nice, nice move. Um, but immediately my opponent gave it back unnecessarily. And don't get too too excited, because if you just take back immediately, white's still better. 
but you need to get more out of the position if you can. Make him waste a full move. And then I have a target, so I have a little bit of momentum here. And it's definitely an end game that you can try to finesse. Even though I've got the worst of it, I have the more active pieces and the more compact structure. So I felt good about my chances in the end game. My time was definitely at half my opponent's time. So the repeating, I know if I trade rooks, I'm losing because the outside pass pawn. So I can't trade, so I've got to try to induce a mistake. And my opponent should just be trying to work the clock instead of force things. And he makes my life a lot easier than he should have. He should have been checking me all throughout in order to make me waste a little bit more time. But I did calculate this properly with three seconds, which I'm very pleased with. And it was a question I'm hovering on the rook of, is he gonna like push, assuming I'm already pre-moving, but you need to be ready to be able to check and pre-move takes and then come get the pawn and push and win. But I wasted half a second there and one and a half seconds should be more than enough time for me to win the king and queen checkmate. Um, of course, it's just really simple pre-moves in order to get the queen. So overall, an interesting game, but definitely much to be desired tactically, as I missed a one-mover uh, twice. One that would have won immediately with knight takes d4, and then another with bishop takes a5. I was just oblivious to that move altogether. Ah, interesting game.